But what's the situation with Varane and the rest of the squad ahead of the Fulham game? Uh, Varane is, is ready to play, so he will be travelling with the squad, yeah. He will be. Any other injury issues to be aware of? Um, yeah, just Victor Lindelof. Um, some illness, we have to see uh, if he's ready for tomorrow. You said after the Newcastle game that you, you were a fighter, but people have questioned your the character of some of your players and your squad. Do you believe that they have the, the requisite fight to, to get you out of this position? Ah, but that's not right. And you, you can't say that. If, uh, remember only the fight we showed against Benford and that comeback. If the, there wasn't spirit in the dressing room, if there wasn't um, characters in the dressing room, you, could do, you can't do this. Um, Eric, let, um, last week after the Manchester City game, some quotes uh, attributed to you came out about Ajax and the way that Ajax played and you saying that you couldn't play at Manchester United the way that Ajax played. Is that right? Because I would have thought that most people would think that you came here because of the way that Ajax played. I thought it was the explanation uh, from my point of view was totally wrong. Uh, but I can't play like Ajax because they're different players. So I came here with my philosophy based on possession, but also to combine it uh, with the DNA of Manchester United and combine it with the players, uh, with the competences, uh, with the char- so with the characters of the players. And that do you combine, and I think we last year we have seen uh, what that was. I think we played very good football last season. And this season, is the philosophy is not different. Eh? Only I want to, I, I would emphasize more on go direct, but the explanation for my direct, uh, eh, they thought eh, that I want to go for long balls. No, I don't want Andre Onana eh, to go for long balls. And eh, no, I want to play from the back. As, as we did, and we tried at every game, also against City, but if an opponent is going so in a high press, yeah, that is a good option to go direct. Eh? But I meant with directness is, eh, and I explain it in, I, think it, I thought it was um, in the USA, on you all, eh, how we want to play. We want to press. Eh? We want to press from different blocks and then go direct because we have the players like Rasmus Hoyland and Marcus Rashford and Anthony and Bruno eh, and, uh, and Scott McTominay who are very good in it with passing from Christian Eriksen um, with our fullbacks and uh, joining in. Eh, that was my idea and I, I think I uh, explained it very clear. I mean, sorry, a lot of people can't see that or any real way of playing in the last few games. Oh, I don't want to say that. I think that it's too strong. I think the, the, the intention is clear, but definitely is the case that uh, the execution um, isn't there. But uh, that I think in the moment where we are in with so many changes in every game, uh, we, are, we can't line up the same lineup uh, two, three games after each other. Every time we have to swap. And last season was the same with everyone, one player. But now we miss often um, players in the back four. And every time we have to adjust. And that don't help in your routines. And now also the midfield, we have to adjust. Eh? Missing Casemiro, eh? important player. But um, I never brought up this team. You know why? Eh? We have to win. And I don't want to find excuses if we're not winning. And, but we have to be now more pragmatic but still, we have to win. And that is a demand, and I don't walk away from that. Eric, you've had two really bad home defeats. You've got to win tomorrow. Everybody feels that. What have you said to the players this week, and what sort of reaction have you had from them? They have. They're positive. And that <clears throat> they, they want to put this right. And um, we know the standards here. And we have to match the standards uh, every day. And yeah, we had two f- uh, big setbacks, but we will fight back. And this dressing room is strong, and this staff is strong, and this manager is strong uh, to, to put this right. So Jim's announced today significant money for the stadium. Are, are you hopeful of significant money for players? Is, is that an avenue you'll be pursuing now? Now he's made his intentions clear about the stadium? 
I, I have a good squad and I'm convinced of the players in this dressing room. So uh, these players, and we have seen last year, they, uh, they can do a lot better, uh, but that is up to me to let them play better. I have, I, I have to take the responsibility to let them play better and I will put every effort in to get this done. And I'm not um, thinking about uh, windows, no, because I have a good squad. Uh, we constructed this squad, we have good players, uh, and when the players are available, uh, when they're returning from injuries, what I mean, then we will play better, definitely. Thank you. With so much scrutiny on Manchester United, Eric, is tomorrow a must win? Is it the most important game perhaps you've faced in your time here? I never think in such scenarios. I think in we have to win every game. And we do, as every game, we put every effort in and we prepared very good. And I'm sure the players are ready for tomorrow to execute their plan. Eric, winning at Manchester United has to be in the DNA for all of the players. And I'm sure you feel the same yourself. How do you get back to that? And how do you get back to being hard to beat? I think the, the players are uh, hard to beat and... But in this moment, and it's obviously, and when you have such two defeats, and we didn't show it, and uh, but I'm convinced on the long term the players uh, will be and uh, will be hard to beat, uh, and they know how to do it.